Some mobile homes that survived the campfire are now out of line under a new town ordinance. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitali is live in paradise with how one mobile home owner is fighting to stay there. If you have a mobile home here at the Apple Tree Village, it either, it either needs to be moved to a different park, demolished, because this park is not reopening. And Paradise Town Council passed an ordinance saying these homes can't be placed on private properties. Watching that was pretty traumatic, really. There's so many people that would have loved to have lived in it even. Susan Lundy has two options, move her mobile home off Apple Tree Village or have it demolished. The park owner, uh, we got registered letters. He's decided not to reopen. Lundy says three out of 12 surviving homes here will move to a different mobile park in town. The rest will be destroyed. There's so many people that would have loved to have lived in something like that. And if it could have been moved on a private property and somebody could have came in and just paid to have it moved, they'd have a place to live that's nice. The Apple Tree Village was built in the 1970s, along with these mobile homes. Paradise Town Council passed an ordinance saying these homes can't be placed on private properties. Lundy says those eight homes set to be demolished could have helped house campfire survivors. There's hundreds and hundreds of private property up here for sale. It would be easy to do. Action News Now spoke to the Paradise Mayor about this ordinance. Greg Boland said council was trying to maintain a balance when it approved the ordinance. This way people looking to build a conventional home wouldn't be scared off by too many mobile homes in the area and at the same time providing space for people with mobile homes. The ordinance says you can't have a mobile home older than 10 years on private property. This, this looks just as nice, if not nicer, than some that I've already seen. You know, people couldn't, like, have had a place to live. For Lundy, no hesitation. She's moving her mobile home to another park just down the road from the village. I just can't leave it. I, my family and loved ones would love me not to be up here, but I don't know. It just feels like home for me, so I'm going to stay.